have to deal with temperatures like that for oh, now. Dude. But they are going to drop it down real low. Yeah, I day. mean, we are seeing 30s return to the forecast, Dane. But the problem mm. is, Mother Nature's kind of like making us go on a roller coaster ride with our temperatures this upcoming week and also snow chances. Mm -hmm. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but your Tuesday afternoon commute may not be a good one. The time is 618. As you're beginning your Tuesday, all is quiet in St. Joseph on our KQ2 tower camera, just some cloudy skies. But in a couple of hours, we're going to see a different picture on that tower camera as another winter storm is going to be pushing through for your Tuesday. Ahead of it, a winter weather advisory has already been put into effect for the entire KQ2 viewing area. So we are going to be seeing rain and snow chances increase as we go into the next several hours. We are on the warm sector of this system. So that's why we're getting a strong southeasterly wind and also temperatures are above freezing this morning in the lower to middle 30s. Again, they're gusting pretty quickly, these southeasterly winds at about 25 to 30 miles per hour. So your KQ2 bus stop forecast, we're going to be dealing with rain chances first this morning with temperatures in the 30s as you kick off your work and school day. But heading into the afternoon, once temperatures start dropping, we're going to see a little bit of a rain changing over to snow, especially in our northern and western counties and eventually in our southern and eastern counties heading into the afternoon. And as you head home from work and school, it is going to cause some issues on the roads, especially since we're going to get rain first. Once temperatures drop, that rain could possibly freeze on roads, so that's why we could be seeing some slick spots as well. We call that flash freezing, so keep that in mind. And also, we're going to have those strong winds, and with that snowfall, Falling, we could have some visibility issues for the afternoon commute, so keep that in mind. Again, all is quiet right now in our KQ2 high resolution max satellite and radar. You have to go out west to start seeing a little bit of that blue color indicating snow. That is our storm system setting up that will be pushing through over the next several hours. So let me go ahead and give you a much closer look back home in your all important KQ2 hour by hour forecast. So as we go throughout the morning hours, we're already beginning to see a little bit of a rain snow mix developing by 8 a.m., but we'll see mostly rain since we're still going to be above freezing for all of the KQ2 viewing area. Now, heading into the afternoon, once the cold front starts pushing through, we will start seeing a little bit of a rain snow mix developing in our northern counties, especially in Rockport and Fall City by 11 a.m. Most of us will still see all rain. Heading into the afternoon by 4 o'clock, we'll start seeing a rain snow mix for St. Joseph, Maysville, Bethany, into Atchison, Rockport, Hiawatha, Fall City, Mount City. You could be seeing some light snow. And again, the winds are going to be picking up pretty fast behind the cold from, from the northwest, gusting upwards to 30 miles per hour. Everything should be out of here by tomorrow morning, and we will see bitter cold air move in for your Wednesday. Snowfall amounts right now, especially in our northern counties, we could see anywhere from one to two inches of snow. This is something that Colton, Mike, and I will be watching very closely, so keep it tuned to KQ2. 39 for your high today, rank first, and then it's going to change over to snow. Temperatures will drop as the cold front passes us, which will make the road slick out there, so keep that in mind. Temperatures overnight going down to the teens, and in your all important KQ2, five to seven day forecast, we'll go from 39 today, Dane, to 30 degrees by Wednesday, 26 by Thursday. And then we'll see a rebound heading into the 30s on Saturday before we go back down on Monday. And that's really all I saw was cold, cold. It's going to get colder. It might be less cold. It and could then be worse. It could be worse. Very good point. Thanks, Vanessa. <laughs> Coming up, it looks like we've got some changes.